Hey guys, before I start the video, I just want to remind you that today is the very last day that you can buy a Bending All the Rolls shirt. So if you're wanting one and you haven't gotten one yet, now is the only time. <laughs> so go ahead and do that if you want. Hey, what's up you guys? It is Ty, and I just got back from Hawaii. So basically this video is just me talking about my trip and showing you guys a couple highlights from the video I got while I was there. I actually vlogged the whole thing so I am kind of going through the process of filtering through all of that and cutting together a just master supercut vlog and uh, I was actually planning on putting that up today but I just got back home Thursday and I have not yet recovered. I'm not even halfway done with it so I just thought I would talk about it because I was actually planning on talking about the trip doing this you know, before that video, but I think that this is going to end up being pretty long because I want to kind of go in depth and explain why I was there and what I did and shit like that. And that video, I just want it to be its own separate thing. It's just like its little adventure vlog. So yeah, that's what this is. The actual cool video will be up on Thursday. So let's talk about why I went to Hawaii and how I made that happen with being so incredibly poor. <laughs> um, so maybe you know this, maybe you don't, but I actually lived in Hawaii briefly. And I moved out there originally to be closer to my sister, who goes to school out there. She is just now finishing up her master's degree in marine science. She's really fucking smart. So she's been out there for like a long time. And I've been like a total of six times. And basically the reason I got to go out there is because she is moving away from Hawaii. She's bringing all her stuff back home and then she is going to go travel. So she gave us a place to stay for two weeks and we helped her pack and try to go through her stuff and move as much as possible. And that's kind of like why it was able to happen. So Christy and I have known about and been planning for this trip for a while. We bought the tickets last year for like half the price of a normal plane ticket out there. And then other than that, literally all we had to pay for was our food. So it was like really awesome. So yeah, it took a lot of planning and a lot of budgeting and we were kind of afraid that we weren't even gonna get to go just because of everything that happened in March. I basically didn't have a place to live and had to find one on extremely short notice and ended up spending all the money that I had saved for Hawaii so far on getting into this place. So that was really scary. <laughs> so after that, it was even stricter budgeting and even more planning. A whole lot of stressing, but we got it done. So I was really stoked to go see my sister. I haven't talked about my sister on my YouTube channel yet, but she's a fucking rock star, you guys. Like I said, she's finishing up her master's in marine science. She actually graduated early and moved out there when she was like 16 or 17 and done a lot of other cool science stuff that I'd probably get wrong if I tried to talk about it. But she also like runs these crazy fucking hundred mile ultra marathons. And when she's not doing that, she spins fire poi, which is really cool. If you don't know what that is, you'll see her doing that in a few minutes whenever I put a little highlight reel of some cool clips I got. If you don't end up watching that far in the video, just take my word for it, it's pretty unreal. She also travels all over the world and lives in fucking Hawaii. So I don't know, she just does a bunch of cool stuff and she's like super ridiculously smart and really sweet super supportive of me and my transition the whole way through. Definitely one of the coolest people I know. Oh my God, and I forgot to mention that she was on Discovery Channel's Naked and Afraid. She spent 21 days in the woods in Canada. Pictures of her have been featured in Buzzfeed. Ellen showed Cassie's clip on her show. So that was pretty funny. She's just like, great sense of humor, really cool, super extreme, does a bunch of cool shit. Almost as awesome as I am. So I was pretty stoked to go out there and get to hang out with her. I just spent a couple minutes bragging on my sister, but I think she deserves it. So basically we left May 2nd, I had to look at my calendar, and we got back May 18th. We spent two weeks over there. We got to do some really cool shit. Didn't pay for any kind of attractions or anything like that. I'm super stoked that I got to go. I wish I would have gotten to talk about it beforehand and like set up something where I could have met people out there, met, you know, viewers and stuff. But Christy and I decided not to talk about the trip beforehand just because the house was going to be empty. All we pretty much had was a dog sitter and like my mom coming over and checking on the place sometimes. I live in a small town, everybody knows where we live, everybody's on our social media and stuff. And that was like one of the most stressful things about leaving is because we had to leave the dogs here. This is the first time that I've left a place and it's like my place. You know what I mean? I've never been like in charge of a place. So it's just kind of scary. Cause like leaving town with my family is totally different because that's like my parents thing to worry about. But now it's like, this is my house. And like, I have to make sure that everything is in check before I go. And I have to keep checking up with the dog sitter, keep checking up with, you know, my family members that I have coming over here, make sure nothing's going wrong. And of course, a lot of things went wrong. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Everything ended up being fine, but like my dogs really missed me and they ended up getting out of the yard a few times. 
So luckily we had people here like taking care of that and doing stuff for it. So that was really cool. Getting this trip to happen was pretty stressful and it's something that I have not yet experienced until now. But it ended up all coming together and it was all worth it and I'm super stoked that we got to go. Like I said earlier, I vlogged the whole thing. So here's just a little teaser of some cool clips that I got while we were over there. Check it out, let me know what you think. So there you guys go. The full two week adventure vlog montage thing will be up on Thursday, so check that out. And thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day. I'm looking so fine with my tan. I'm gonna have a good day too. So <laughs> I'll, uh, thank, uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Forgot to take a thumbnail picture. I always forget to take thumbnail pictures and then my thumbnails suck. Speaking of nails, I had an ingrown toenail. Like the whole time I was over there, it started like two months earlier, and I just keep fucking with it and making it worse instead of making it better. Man, that was not fun. Trying to hike and swim and walk through the sand with my fucking open wound of a toe. Oh, but it was like a really good trip. <laughs> okay, where am I gonna be?